Good afternoon. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome to my daily Facebook Live. Sorry to keep the edit. I should keep it up more high so you can donate the logo. Don't advertise. Fall asleep. <laughs> my name is Barry Selby. I am here to inspire, advise, and recommend ideas for love, relationships, stuff like that. Because I am a best-selling author. Oops, that's a bit more balanced. Um, <laughs> I'm a passionate champion of the divine feminine, a which I'll get to, because that's what I'm about today, an explainer. I'm also a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And today's, after yesterday, I don't know if you watched my broadcast yesterday, but yesterday's broadcast, I had an epiphany, as it were, or I should say a realization that hit me went up right outside the head and in the heart in yesterday's broadcast. So I invite you to look at number 239, which yesterday. Um... It really, it really tracks back to now what I think inspired why I do what I do. So I thought, today I'll just talk about what I do. And what the quote I, or the statement I keep dropping, which is, I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. So this is an explainer. And before I get to that, um, quick reminder, these are my daily Facebook live broadcasts. Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart is the full title. It's number 240. Every day. Well, the first few months were well, every week, but now this every day has been for the last... Nine months, eight months, something like that. Um, and no sign or indication I'll be stopping anytime soon. So we keep going. But in, the yes, in the some ways yesterday, because I went back and saw where it started this for me, at least the latest iteration or, or latest deep dive into that, and I share that yesterday. So again, please watch yesterday's broadcast. I realized in some ways I haven't spoken about why I'm a passionate champion of the divine feminine and what that means and what it's about. So... That's what we'll talk about. If you're willing to play along and ask questions, feel free. And if you want, if you know anybody should, share, should see this for any reason, not sure why, <laughs> please share it with them. Um, and I'll get started. The question is where? Well, I shared um, in yesterday's broadcast again some of my journey and got getting to where I am now, which is what put me in this work. But why I've become a passionate champion for the divine feminine. I want to share a couple of insights and then some bigger world stuff that might be impactful for you. Looking back, and again, I shared this yesterday, so please watch that broadcast. I shared about how I've always been sort of in the corner for women. It's been the way I've, I was raised, the way I've been. It wasn't raised intentionally, just the way I observed life and chose it. So most of my adult life, I had a lot of female friends because of that positioning, as it were. It was, as I mentioned in, again, yes, I mean, I'm referring to yesterday's broadcast all the time, so please go watch that so I can have to explain that part again. Don't need to. But I mentioned I was in some trainings back in 2007, 2008 that were game changers, eye openers, and paradigm shifters for me. And basically what it did is it exposed me to and infused me with the understanding of the masculine and feminine dance of polarity. That's the way I phrase it. And I became very clear, very clear. Whoops, one thing I need to do before I get any further. Just put on, just put on Do Not Disturb so I can stay on camera. I just saw a notification pop up. I'm like, oh, that'll interrupt things. Back in gear. In my journey and in the work with the Masculine Feminine Polarity, I discovered, or should say, was opened to and humbled by the magnificence of the divine feminine. No if, ands, or buts. That was what happened to me. I, in the journey of work of really standing to my masculine, one, because it was in my masculine, I saw it more clearly, that the opposite polarity across the room, literally across the room. But I also saw how it was in every woman that stands in her feminine. Now, I'm moving, I'm not talking about the independence of polarity versus gender, because there are Men who are more feminine naturally, the women more powerful, more masculine naturally too. I'm thinking about the feminine energy in women, because that's what I noticed. Let's be honest about this. After I got back from the first training with Warrior Sage, which I mentioned yesterday, I went back to my spiritual center. This is again 2007. This was uh, July, June, July, somewhere around there. And I walked into the sanctuary on a Wednesday night service. And I remember basically walking in the door and being stopped in my tracks. Like, I, 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 I didn't hit a wall, but I just was like, whoa. 
because I got back from the retreat, that was Sunday night, Monday morning. Wednesday night service, walked into the sanctuary, saw all the people in the sanctuary, and there was probably a thousand people there. I saw, maybe for the first time, this clear delineation, in a way, of the energetics of the masculine energy versus feminine energy. And I saw every woman in that sanctuary, in the church, in the warehouse, which it was converted from, as my spiritual sister. And it was it was it was life changing for me because I just saw that in in the macrocosm, macrocosm, how you will phrase it, and it was it was a powerful change for me, and it really showed me that I was seeing clearly, maybe for the first time, see women clearly for the first time, in a way that was humbling and respectful, and also honouring for me and for them, because it was a recognition that it was in my masculine to see that, as it were. At the same time, <laughs> this is this is the the, the um, what's the word looking for? Provocative part of me. I looked around the sanctuary and also saw all the men in the room. And the words that went through my head, which I have no idea how I was going to incorporate, execute, or make happen, was to all these men, all those women who are my spiritual sisters, the men had to go through me to get to them. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that was the thought that was from my head, and my mind was going, what am I thinking? You know, there was a thousand people in the sanctuary, probably at least a third, if not almost a half of the people in the room were men. I was going to take them all on. No, what I, what I felt was that the honoring and reverence that I was feeling that was so clear for me around women, that if men didn't see that, I needed to show them or awaken them to see it, see it too. And I've done that on my own way along the path. Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just using this, these broadcasts to go through my own journey and deepening in my work. That's going to happen. Okay, I'll come back to that in a moment. So that'll be there. I'll come back to it. Continuing on where I'm going. So fast forward over the years, especially after the election last, um, November before last, that's when I started doing this broadcast. It was, um, I think it was early December, the first one. I have to look back now, which, which was number one. It was early December 2016. And I had to speak up. It was like I could no longer hold it in. So I started doing these conversations and I didn't talk, I didn't call them this at the beginning, but they changed. But what I recognized was is that there was a, at that time, a void in the male camp speaking to women, respecting women, sharing from masculine heart the power women have in the feminine. And so for these 240 broadcasts, that's what I've been doing, is being in alignment to my truth, speaking my heart, and sharing about the power women have in the feminine, about how men can step up, how we can all grow and be in more uh, empowered, split, empowered place and space in a divine masculine, divine feminine. And what I mean by that, because I'm going to the explainer part, what I learned back in 2007, and I've been learning to embody and watch in the world and watch the polarity between masculine and feminine, that, that, that dance, as it were, is the feminine energetic is divine. It's also very earthbound and grounded. It's also very fluid. The power of the feminine is the power of life itself. It's the fullness of life, the expression of life, the ever-changing energy of life, or ever-changing experience of life. And it's been something that's been really touching me for years now, to notice that the energetics of the world are feminine. Everything that moves is feminine. It's an energetic. Stillness is masculine. Movement is feminine. That's as basic as it gets. So being a champion for that in what I talk about is, and I'm realizing I'm falling short in some areas, so I'm just aware of that as soon as I said it, is I'm stepping into a place of greater capacity to serve, to love, to inspire, and to 
evoke. That's a good word, evoke. You're watching me build my manifesto, I think. <laughs> we'll see how this comes out. I'm going to go to this thing over here. No, it's over there, yeah, over there. No, it's over there. That's where it was. Yeah, bring this back in now. Um, I have this thing about using coat hooks to hang up my ideas when I'm not sure where I'm going to go next and I want to leave them there. I said earlier about feeling the desire to educate the men into the masculine. Well, it's not my work to get men into the masculine, but to educate men about the feminine. <clears throat> and I hadn't seen it that way before. I was talking to women about the feminine, but I'm realizing more and more, perhaps my next steps, my journey, takes me into a new arena, and I'm literally taking a step into the fog and seeing it clear a bit, stepping into the fog, clear a bit. You know, it's this journey of um, taking the next step. So what I'm feeling is a calling. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here. You heard it here first, folks that I'm going to be talking to men about women. That's interesting. How it's going to look, I don't know, but it's coming up. So I guess I'm going to be out in the world doing this somehow. I love the fact this stuff comes through and I have no clue how it's going to happen. <laughs> That's been my journey for the last seven, eight years. Well, probably most of my life looking back. Maybe yours too. I'm still incorporating yesterday's, yesterday's epiphany or yesterday's awakening that I had and awareness. I think if I, remember correctly, I'll put, if I remember, I'll put the link below to that one in case you can't get back and watch it yourself. But I do invite you to watch my broadcast from yesterday, 2.39, which was why I do what I do and why I love what I do. That was yesterday's broadcast. And that went far, much deeper than I planned. And I guess in a way I'm kind of like just filling in some of the gaps today with the, the second piece. Um, what else do I want to share that be of value to you? Because that's what I'll do these for. I mean, okay, so this is what I'm going to invite you to do. Ladies, if you haven't yet really claimed, remembered, incorporated, owned, expressed, and put your stamp on your feminine power, it's time. It's way past time, but it's certainly time now. Gentlemen, if you're a gentleman who thinks he is a manly man or a masculine man, it's time for one, you to remember that, stand in it, own it, and secondly, it's time to put on or take off the, the fake glasses and see women truth, truly as they are in the feminine. To honor, respect, and serve that, because what's been happening lately, as we've seen with the Me Too and the, and the Time's Up, and the whole thing with NASA and... Um, the U.S. Olympic Gymnastic Committee. That old paradigm doesn't work. It is hellaciously distressing for women, and for us men who honor women, it's really painful to watch. And watching people who covered it up, that's even more heinous in some ways. Well, not more, but it's certainly as heinous. So I'm not sure where I'm going over here, but it's where I'm being pulled. So I'm asking, inviting, and standing for respect between the genders, Respect between the polarities, because they're not the same, as I mentioned. But generally speaking, the men who are in the masculine naturally, who, rem who are remembering to get back there, will automatically step into honoring the feminine. But ladies, I invite you to please own your feminine as much as you can too, which I can help you with, because that's something I've been studying a lot, as you know, as I've said. <clears throat> and... I don't want to say it that way, it doesn't come out right. And be willing to receive respect from men and also be willing to not settle for less. That sounds better. So I guess this is part of my manifesto. <laughs> Love it. Um, I appreciate you being, you appreciate you being here and watching. Because um, again, this, this broadcast and yesterday's broadcast are absolutely... Um, no script, I mean, none of them are. No script, no plans, no bullet points, nothing. But yesterday's and today's broadcast were definitely explorations into my own perspective. So that, I think, is it. I think I covered what I was talking about. So with the explainer about why I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. 
Oh, well, let me add this piece since, since I'm going to put a Y in here. Let me say it this way so you get how, I'm, how important this is, for at least the way I feel it. Unless the feminine is put into its equal place, opposite and equivalent to the masculine, but different, and steps into its rightful role of leadership, of understanding, and of service to the planet, equal to the men, and we step into that, that role too, unless we do that, this planet is doomed. Ain't no small thing. So this series, perhaps even one day will reach out and reach lots of people, I don't know. They haven't yet, but that's okay. But I know that I'm, I'm one of the people, not the only one I know, but one of the people who's willing to stand up for this and stop following blindly the leadership of people who don't know better. And I'm going to be very polite and not go down that road too far. Because we have a need for a change. We need the feminine leadership on the planet as much as, if not a lot more than the masculine. Actually, no, let's just say it that way. We need the leadership of the masculine and the feminine on the planet because what's been running the planet so far has been the macho. And it's time to change. There are a couple of um, highlighters, as it were, out there. Barack and Michelle, yes, I would say. Um, our friends to the north, our uh, Mr. Trudeau, who was speaking again at um, in Switzerland at the, the talks, made some powerful points. I posted the link to the uh, video clip on my on my Facebook page, so I made a look at that. There's a few of us out there talking about this. I'm not saying I'm equal to them. <laughs> I just realized what I just did. But I'm saying there's more of us out there talking about this to honor and respect each other and to see the truth in each other. I think that's it. That's what I really want to get to. That's why I do what I do. And I'm doing the better and better each day. I'm not perfect at it by any stretch of the imagination at all. However, however, I know where I'm going on this. I know what I'm stepping into and I invite you to step into your truth too, to speak your truth, to honor those around you. And this is not a straight or a gay thing, by the way. This is a truly honoring thing for men and women. Because a lot of this work can be done in your own families. Ooh, that triggers some people right there, I know. But to bring respect to the feminine members of your family from the masculine and vice versa works both ways. Could heal some family dynamics and raise the quality of life in your family. Be it with your children, your parents, your siblings, your relatives, your friends, your neighborhood, your school, your business, your social life, your relationships. All of that can be impacted by this. We've got some work to do. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> I think that'll wrap it up. Um, thank you for joining me as I rant and r r meander around my topic today. Again, I do invite you to watch my broadcast from yesterday. I'm still healing and all, integrating from that. And I'm, I'm feeling today is why this broadcast is maybe a little bit staccato by what I was thinking I was going to talk about. Um, interesting feeling the last couple of days felt interesting so that's something moving for me thank you for watching please share if there's anybody you think might get value from it i don't know if anybody will because I, I was on my own theme this today and if you have any questions or comments please put them below i'll answer them later on and if you want to reach out for support you can find me on social media if you're watching this on youtube because it'll be there soon you can put comments below the broadcast i think the way i'm messaging me over youtube i don't even know i haven't tried that these broadcasts all 240 including today's are on my website, at least this one will be joining them soon. If you go to barrysobe.com, click on the video blog, you can watch them all there. They're all listed from newest to oldest. And all my other stuff's on my site too, so you can check that out as well. I think that's about it. Have a wonderful Saturday. Thanks for joining me. Again, yesterday's broadcast, I'll put the link to yesterday's broadcast down below this one because that was a powerful epiphany I had, and I'm kind of like, I'm not so much proud of it as surprised by it after all this time we're doing this work and going that's what's causing it it's kind of cool and thanks for being here today if you have any questions please reach out to me and I'll see you again tomorrow because I will be doing these every day tomorrow's be 241 and uh, have a wonderful afternoon and evening and if you're not in California sorry <laughs> it's like 70 something degrees it'll be 80 something tomorrow I think or on Monday which is ridiculous for, for January weird weather
There's no global there's no global warming going on. No, no, none of that. Right. Okay. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Oh, please take care of yourselves. Honor, respect, and love who you are. Because nobody can do it unless you can do it for yourself. And that's one of the secrets to getting what you want. Boom. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.